of all the, the people that I know that you are in a unique position at this moment in time because in a way you've been, you've been sort of preparing a whole paradigm of, of thought around this kind of financial crisis that we've now entered. And I'm kind of curious, why did you think that this would happen? Well, this is a structural crisis. You will not be able to solve climate change with the current money system. Mm -hmm. You will not be able to address the unemployment within the current money system. You will not be able to have the aging, the whole issue of pensions and all that whole social contract is not, cannot be held, okay? All monies, all conventional national monies are of the same type. It's bank debt. It's created through people borrowing from banks, whether it's people or governments or corporations. That's when money is generated. So we have a monoculture. Uh, well, it's kind of predictable that monocultures are not very reliably stable systems. The, you know, the smallest little unexpected thing and the whole thing falls apart. They have no like resilience. There is no resilience. The best way to understand it is, uh, well let me start with a metaphor. Imagine a car without brakes and the steering wheel is unreliable and when you crash I say you're a very bad driver. Nobody wants to question that the machine was actually a problem. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how clever a driver you put in this stuff in these conditions, you're going to crash. That's what happens at the money system. Let's assume that you fire all the bad people uh, and put a new team back in that car with a bad steering wheel and no brakes. I'm predicting that they will break the neck again.